Hello, this is Sealed with Stuart, FBNMultimedia.com, coming to you with a tutorial on how to do a transporter effect. First of all, let's make a new composition. New composition, and we'll do the NTC DV widescreen. 10 seconds long is fine, and we'll call this the final. Okay, into that, you're going to bring your footage. Okay, and I have some footage that I've built here that I'm going to drop into this composition. The idea is move on the timeline to where you want the guy to actually start teleporting out. So there, once he's put his hand down, that's a good place. Control D, duplicate this footage. I'm gonna take this one here, hold down Alt and press the right square bracket to trim that footage to the end point there. Okay, and we're gonna drag this one forward until we get to the point where the actor isn't there anymore. Because we need just the straight background. There we go. He's there and boom, he's gone. Okay, let's hit return on the keyboard to rename this and we'll call this part the actor. And then we'll go down to the second one, hit return on the keyboard and call this one the BG plate so we don't get confused over which is what. Okay, you can also hold down alt and push the left square bracket to trim this one to the bottom one in because we don't need any of that footage before this point. So what we need to do next is capture our actor to make the still frame that's going to be dematerialized. I find this way is the most effective for me. I go to Composition, Save Frame as File, make sure it's Current Settings, Photoshop, change this name, Frozen, Froze, nice spelling on you, Frozen Actor, and Return, and just render that out really quickly. Then we're going to go File, Import, File, and we're going to grab our Frozen Actor PSD and open it. Straight unmatted, we don't care about anything like that. Okay, let's go back to our final. Bring our Frozen Actor in, on top, drop him down there. Okay, again, we want to advance one frame to where he would, let's get rid of this, advance one frame to where he would be gone. And that would be the first frame of this, so we do Alt, left bracket, to trim that in point there, turn it on, and there he is. What we're going to have to do is draw a mask around this actor to separate him from the background. Here we go, we're going to go in, zoom in really close. Ooh, that's really close. And scroll over to our guy. Okay, start wherever you want and start drawing points around him. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead now to where I've already finished drawing this mask around the guy and you see everything else disappears and toggle the transparency there, you see, so he's the only thing there. Next thing we do is make a new composition, the same size, call this Dematerializer. I know it's a very technical term, uh, 10 seconds, everything the same, yeah. Bada bing! First thing you want to do is make a new solid. Okay, layer, new, solid. You can also hit Control Y. We're going to call this one the Sparkles. No XM, Sparkles. Okay, make it comp size. Color is black. Make sure of that it's black. Okay, and click OK. Okay, and then we're going to go over to the to the effects and presets and type in noise, and it will give us the noise effect. We'll drop that in. Okay, we don't want to use color. We just want black and white noise. Okay, we're going to apply a couple more effects to it. So we're going to type in. Actually, we're going to type in fast B to get the fast blur. Drop that out. And the fast blur, we'll scooch this down so we can see what we're doing here. Just a very small value, just a value of one. Very little blur, but it, it gets it going there. Okay, and next thing we're gonna drop in is the glow effect. And to change the glow, we're just gonna knock this down to 20%. That gets our glow happening, okay. And one more thing we're gonna add to this, we're gonna add the hue and saturation effect to it. And we're going to click on the Colorize and switch this up. I've checked this out in advance, obviously, and switch this up to 201, which gives us a nice blue, and bring our saturation up to 100. Okay, that's our dematerializer. Now we're going to make another new composition, and we're going to call this one the Overlay. And NTC DV widescreen, 10 seconds full. Okay, and we're going to make a new solid, and I'm hitting Control Y to do that. And we're going to call this one the Streaks. And we want it to be comp size and black, and say okay. The first effect, we're going to add 
fractal noise. And we're going to dump that out there. Okay, so I want to bring the contrast up to 200. And the brightness down to negative 80. And that doesn't look all that great right now, but we're going to open the transform box. Uncheck uniform scaling. Take the scale width to 5. And the scale height to 2400. To make an expression, we're going to hold down Alt and click on the stopwatch here on the evolution. And in there, we're just going to type time times 200. And you can hit enter on the number pad or just click away from it, and that goes. Now if we scroll through, we see we have a bunch of streaks on the screen. We're going to make another new solid, which is hit Control Y, and we're going to call this Sparks. Make comp size, yes, and black, okay. We're going to apply something that you really wouldn't think to be doing, and that would be the CC snow effect. The speed is how fast they're falling down, and if you make it in uh, negative numbers, they're going to fall up, but we're going to switch this up to 1.5. We don't want either one of those to have any effect whatsoever, so we change those both to zero. If you're not on the modes, click the toggle switches and modes button to get to this one and change this to screen. And that will combine it with your streaks. We're going to make a new adjustment layer. So go into Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Enter on the keypad and call this one Color and Glow. Type Glow into the Animations and Presets window and it'll come up with it. Grab Stylize Glow, drop that onto your Adjustment Layer. And again, just change this down to 20. And it will get us pretty much the effect we're looking for. Close that up so we don't get confused. And then type in hue to find the hue and saturation. Drag that onto your adjustment layer as well. Check the colorize box. Change the color to 201. And the saturation to 100. 